guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be staining my pergola. I built it a couple years ago and it needs another coat of stain. One of the biggest projects I've ever done and eventually I'll do some sort of video on it. I wasn't, I didn't have a YouTube channel at that time, but I have some clips, so I'll put that together for you. I decided I'm going to try using this staining tool. It's a Wagner Extra Duty and it's made for stain and it's supposed to be five times faster than brushing on stain. So we're gonna give it a go. So come along. Oh, this is my pergola. And it's been two years since I built it. So it's time to put another coat of stain on it. I live in Maine, so it needs some winter protection, especially and the summer heat, of course. This is the sprayer I'm using and I'll be filling it up with stain and let me show you a few settings on this. So this setting determines the width of the spray and I have it on the wider setting. I'm spraying first of all these posts and they're six by six. So I definitely want the wider setting for that. And then horizontal and vertical spray is determined here. And right now this is the at the vertical setting and you just rotate it if you are doing a horizontal beam. And this is the flow setting and generally speaking you want it on a higher number for fences and projects like I'm doing here. So I'm going to start it between 10 and 11 and see how that looks. This turns on the turbine engine. So once you have that turned on then you can squeeze the nozzle and go. But not before filling up uh, your reservoir with your stain product. So I'm using a professional grade stain, which is probably one of the most important things you should do on your project. This is Ready Seal, and it's great for not leaving streaks. Um, great product. And this is Pecan, which looks more like a redwood on the Douglas fir that I'm staining. works pretty good. I'm going to keep going and uh, I had to turn down the amount coming out to eight because it was way too much material coming out. So I'm going to keep going see if I can knock this out. And with the wind blowing there was a lot of stain being blown around so it's really important to wear a mask when you're doing this. And the mistake I made I didn't have on a hat the first day I was working on this. So I did get some stain in my hair, unfortunately. This is before, and this is after. What a huge difference. The only problem is I'm going through stain really quick. So I'm gonna actually turn it all the way down to one and see if I can make it last a little longer.
That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. We'd greatly appreciate it. Take us out, Z. <laughs> Have a great day.